Joe Biden threatens to jail grocers and plan to combat his food inflation crisis. That's right. His Bidenomics, his policies, his regulations is the one is the reason why everything is so expensive right now. And instead of trying to change his policies and, and things like that, he want to lock up grocery store owners. This is crazy. He is blaming everyone except for himself for uh, the terrible economy. And now he's threatening to lock up grocery store owners. Do he not know grocery stores? They really don't have a high. They really, the, the, the um, what is it called? What is it called? Their, um, how much money they make is really not that great. It's not a lot. Like restaurants, they really don't make a whole heck of a lot of money. They're really not gouging us. That's how much it costs for them to make a little bit of money because everything that the grocery stores purchase costs a lot more. Think about it. Gas is up. So the trucks that bring in that bring them bring in the shipments is going to charge more. The prices of the actual food, it costs more. So, of course, they have to charge more. I mean, it's simple economics, but Biden is too dumb to realize that and is blaming everyone except for himself so we're going to talk a little bit about that but before we get started go ahead and hit that like button share this out so we can get this information out there subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that alarm bell so you know when i'm putting out new stuff also check out my link tree in the description it has a link to my patreon that's where i talk about things that i can't talk about here all right so let's talk about this news now this comes from the gateway pundits christina layla and she reports that grocery prices are soaring thanks to Joe Biden's tax and spend policies. The U.S. economy is in bad shape because of Joe Biden's war on domestic oil and the Green New Deal disguised as the Inflation Reduction Act. Moody's Investors Service recently cut the U.S. outlook to negative. Moody's lowered its rating outlook on the U.S. government citing high interest rates, government spending, and deficits. I told you government is going to spend us into oblivion. Um, inflation is still high. Grocery prices are up more than 19%. Gas prices are still high. And more than 15 million illegal aliens have poured over the border since Biden was installed in January 2021. Most Americans are struggling to put food on the table thanks to Joe Biden. This year's 4th of July cookout costs hit a record high, up 30% from five years ago when Trump was in office. 30%, that is crazy. Quote, with plenty of options to feed a hungry crowd, a group of 10 this year can expect to pay $71.22 for their celebration, up 5% from last year, up 30% from five years ago. Nationally, this means we are surpassing $7 per person for the first time, with the total meal coming to $7.12 a person. Only two dishes decreased in price while everything else on the table rose on average. Your grocery bill may be a shock, but it is in line with the inflation that has roiled uh, the economy including the farm economy over the last several years, according to this year's American Farm Bureau 4th of July Market Basket Survey. And, and there's a war on farmers right now as well. So prices are going to continue to climb until we get this man out of office. But um, Joe Biden is now threatening to jail grocers to combat his inflation crisis. Quote, Grocery costs are too high for families across the country, Biden said on X. We know Biden didn't really, he didn't really post this. One of, one of his people posted this. But he, he goes on to say, quote, we have a plan to tackle them. Biden's plan includes deploying state attorney general, uh, state attorneys general to go after grocery, uh, go after grocers for, quote, price gouging. Grocery prices are not soaring because of price gouging. I mean, they don't want if they raise their price they know most a lot of people aren't going to purchase these things they don't want to raise their prices this high it's just that they they have to make some type of profit off of this stuff well biden also um called on grocery chains to lower costs meanwhile 
Joe Biden also announced his regime will provide low-income families of four $2,000 more for groceries by, quote, improving SNAP and launching summer EBT, the government spending billions of dollars a year on SNAP contributions or contributes to higher inflation. Again, they're going to split, uh, spend us into oblivion. That's why they keep raising taxes, thinking that's going to help. But it's not, not It's not the revenue that they're receiving. They're receiving enough revenue. It's just our government continue to give out handouts to people like illegal illegal immigrants and stuff like that. That's why um, that that's what's going on with with the economy right now. It's not the grocery. It's not the grocers that's doing this. Biden, it's you. But y'all, let me know what y'all think about this. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and um, check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.